Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2015 in New York City. I'm here with Eloise Reitbauer. Eloise, how are you doing? Good, thank you. So you're with Ruxit. Yes. And we've had a few conversations, the last one about six months ago. What has changed with Ruxit in the last six months? Yeah, first of all, we have grown massively again, which is good. We're now at about 250 customers at the rate where we're adding about one customer a day. So that's the rate we are at, and we're pretty confident we're kind of doubling it going forward. And what's the typical customer type? Uh, that's the really interesting thing, because I think there is no like typical, typical customer type, but what they all have in common is that most of them run their, their replications in, in the cloud, whether it's a private cloud or public cloud. Recently, we have seen much more uptake of customers running bigger infrastructures on Docker, with Mesos, Marathon. So highly dynamic environments mostly, but we also see classically uh, e-commerce companies that are just on their shift to, to more modern infrastructures, uh, but also smaller startups. So a wide range. So modern infrastructure. So you guys are kind of a SaaS-oriented monitoring service, is that? Yes. So yeah. Ruxit is primarily provided via SaaS. So you just go to a website, log on, and we run all the infrastructure for you. While actually going forward, we also, and that's just what we're about to announce, have a special offer for certain industries who simply cannot run SaaS software, so who have to keep their data on premises, uh, which we're calling Ruxit Managed. The idea behind it is more or less getting all the comfort of a SaaS offering, but still running it in your own data center or private cloud infrastructure. So a managed service on-prem or off, is that, or on-prem is managed and Ruxit standard is off-prem? The Ruxit standard is run in the Ruxit cloud. So we, we, we run everything for you, including the server infrastructure. With Ruxit managed, you provide us with the servers, uh, but still, we, the managed piece is we still take care of 24-7 um, operational monitoring. We call this uh, Rux Mission Control, where you will have our DevOps team monitoring it. Because very often with monitoring solutions, once you go on-prem, you add this additional burden to your ops team that they have to take care of it. That's, that's not the case with, with Ruxit, where we take care of it. And we also provide a direct link to our update services. So. On-prem software you used to have much longer release cycles, so usually we're talking about release cycles of half a year or more when, when you went to on-prem. With Ruxit, we were actually able to provide the same two-week update cycles if customers wanted for a managed offering. So it sounds like this would be ideal for heavily regulated type of industries, is that yeah, so seeing, like government, all finance? Government, finance, healthcare, so every type of industries that simply has regulatory requirements that force them to keep all data on, on premise. And usually those companies could not use a SaaS solution, but what they get is really like a SaaS solution that they can install, and still we can take the operational management of it. Excellent. So wh where do you see this going in the future? I mean, so are you going to see more of these heavily regulated industries kind of going hybrid, or are they just going to run managed on service, or? Uh, so. What we see is we have customers in the banking and finance space that also go into the cloud. So it's not that the cloud is a no-go for them at all, but for some it's just really requirements that they have to fulfill. But also for them, uh, what we see, they, they become kind of as a service providers uh, internally. So most of those organizations provide monitoring as a service internally to these organizations. Usually financial organizations are rather big and you have one central department. And we also wanted to give them an opportunity that, um, or the possibility with Ruxit Managed, that they not only can install it for every single one, but they can run it really in a multi-tenant fashion. And you have your DevOps or your performance organization that really can provide monitoring as a service also internally uh, within a bigger organization that cannot use a SaaS service. So remind me again what Ruxit stands for? Ruxit stands for Raving User Experience Across IT. <laughs> the idea behind it, and uh, the name is a couple of years old now, was when we started Ruxit, we really thought, okay, you need this full stack monitoring approach. So you need to like have all the pieces connected together. But at the same time, it's really the user experience that counts. A lot of, of what Ruxit is doing, whether it, it's the whole problem notification that we're doing where we're treating problems differently that it's just affecting the infrastructure and the user. So it's really delivering an optima, optimal experience to the user. Well, interestingly, that concept of a user is now also starting to change. Uh, 
we see more customers also providing their software via an API, so suddenly other software becomes the user of it as well. Right, so when you go to a managed situation and you're on-prem, is your user any different? Is your user the, the guys in DevOps at that? The users are pretty much the same. It's so it's the performance guys, it's the operations guys uh, using it. Yeah. There's just this additional user who, or this additional department that usually provides the software really as, as a service to the whole organization that, that's coming in there as well. So how, how important is security in, with Ruxit and, and you know, monitoring? I mean, is that at all in the forefront or is that something coming down the road? Yeah, we have a, separate, we have a security team who's taking care of all types of security, so whether it's the front end, the back end, and we keep all our data secure. Um, obviously you have to. Yeah. Monitoring data might not be the most sensible data that you're dealing with, but still security is on our forefront, so we do have our own security teams. We have uh, our security audits, and kind of every code that's in a sensible area is checked for security vulnerabilities. I think every SaaS provider these days simply has to do it, because you were really exposed yeah. to, the, to the outside world, so you should take care of it. Excellent. So, if you look forward to, let's say, six months from now, where we're going to speak, speak at probably Santa Clara, um, what will you hope changes for Ruxit in that six months, the next six months? Uh, yeah, right now we are investing in um, a lot of research in a lot of different technologies. Uh, I think, obviously, the, the technology breadth will grow. But I think we definitely can talk more about IoT, so Internet of Things and Internet of Things monitoring, which has just with the recent announcements at um, reInvent start to play more role as IBM announced around, um, around it. And something that we're pushing really hard right now is kind of rethinking how, how people really interact with monitoring tools. So how can we make interactions more more natural? So. For us, it's become pretty uh, obvious that today, when we're interacting with our mobile phone, just had a conversation before we started here, that Siri becomes, became way more intelligent. So we started to have these more human-like conversations and more, more, more that type of interactions. But monitoring tools are still stuck at, let's look at a dashboard and do something. And we're also investigating how we can bring in something like chat ops, interactive communication was a monitoring tool to make interactions more natural and help a monitoring tool to become more of a virtual team member mm -hmm. than just being the dashboard that you look at it and pick down so screen. So there's chat ops? Yeah, chat ops uh, as a term in there, but we also try to bring monitoring closer in there. Excellent. We look forward to that journey, and we'll talk in six months. Thank you. Thank you.